Oh my God. Got him in the mouth. Careful. That's, That's a fish. fish. <laughs> Just a tip. All right, all right. That's one way to get the trip off to a start right there. Spilled up on some gas, heading down south for the old Spoonville season. We're gonna hit the road, put the boats in, drive the trucks back, drive the boats over to the dock, and we'll catch up on the dock. All right, so I left the house, made it down to Kaufman Marina. We're gonna uh, set the enclosure up here. It's easier to do when you're not on the water, that way you can access from the outside. So we're gonna set the uh, enclosure up here, back the boats in one time for the trip. So uh, that's also the nice thing, staying at an Airbnb with the dock, you don't have to pull out of the local boat ramps, which sometimes, especially on the weekend, they get packed and you don't have to drive in these very hilly situations with the boat behind you. And they even said we could store the trailer here, so then we just have the trucks we can back in. Everything's perfect. So we're gonna set the enclosure up right now, get the boats in the water, get to fishing. A lot of years it can be different circumstances. So water flow, water temp, and some of the paddle fish, females, they say they only spawn every two to three years, mainly three year increments. So it can be a lot different. It's a big sport up here and basically some back knowledge for you. They all come up to the dam up here. They come up, lay their eggs. They start to travel when the water hits about 50 degrees. They come up, lay their eggs, and that's kind of the theory behind the paddle fish. The only way to catch them is pulling hooks. It is a huge sport. It is highly legal, and this is the only conservation way to control the numbers. So with that being said, we're going to set the enclosure up, hit the water, and we'll catch you on the boat. Hey, do we have water? Where's the water that we brought? Water? What's that? All right, cheers to the season, I guess. Woo! Pickle juice and fireball is not Twenty-four season. Yee. Dinger, 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 and dinger. All right. Before wow. we start, what's our big fish of the trip? Ninety-four. I'll say hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Wow. Eighty-one. I'm gonna say eighty-seven. Twenty twenty-four paddlefish season begins now. Out at the Ozarks, and honestly, it's a beautiful day. We got about sixty degrees. Got here a little bit late. It's uh, Scotty. Let's see. Are we marking anything? And what time is it? Also, we got 5:41 p.m. We're in 29 feet of water. We're not at where we're gonna snag. Those are probably Crap some carp and catfish. catfish. So we uh, do come up here each year. So we are, you know, a little bit familiar with the territory and everything like that. But it also depends on water level, water temperature. Um, we have some good holes marked and everything, but each year it's a different adventure and we really don't know where to start from, so. We do have some new divers. They're uh, new technology like this, so we're gonna let these go. How deep are we, Bailey? 41. 41? Scott, what are, you, what are you thinking of running? Uh, let's try, I don't know, on hyperdrive that brings up the counter. I'm gonna do that right now. What do we do, 200? Uh, usually we run the middle ones like 160. 
So I'm gonna set that one like that. I'll do 160 and 200 to start off. These new divers should dive deeper than the regular ones. When you're doing this, you wanna drive the boat straight and uh, you kind of just stagger different depths. So it does help to have line counters. We got a 80 pound and a 100 pound line on. So we're just gonna set them out at different depths, kind of just adjust where we see them on the water column and just kind of drive through them and you're just waiting for one to make a connection. So this one's diving pretty good. I'm gonna reel them up. It takes a little bit of adjusting. And then once you do this, you wanna make sure that the drag is tight where it can stick in the fish, but you don't want it too tight where it's gonna hit the fish and rip out. So we got them scattered at all different depths in the water column and everything. And we're just gonna kind of go off basically what we see on the graph and let it rip. False alarm, snag. And I'm pretty sure it's on this wire that we've oh, caught every year. <laughs> right next to this water slide. It is a good deep hole, like we're in 50 foot of water right now, but we also catch this wire. All right. Well, you hit something, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fish. Yeah, we gotta remember this water slide, there's that line. I thought it was before the water slide, but I do remember now. Did you guys finish that case of Michelob? Yeah. That's five. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh my god. That's a fish for sure. There you go. This side. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna get this other one. Whoa. Still on there? Yeah, it's yeah. still on there. It's not very big. It wasn't ripping. It might be a big carp or catfish. Oh wait, I might have to, no. So I'm gonna keep this one out here. Yep. Okay. here switch me. Oh wait, no, where's- No, she needs to say where she's at. No, no, Scott, go, come over here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> now we're good. This one honestly can stay. This it one's farther. not feel very heavy at all. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's a paddlefish. If it is a paddlefish, it's a baby. Oh my god, that's a big old smallmouth buffalo. Oh god. That thing is, and you got him in the mouth. Careful. Cheapers. Oh my god. I'm gonna loosen the drag. Okay. So if he does that again, it doesn't fly back at us. That is giant. That is giant. That's a smallmouth buffalo. Put the rod down. Just that thing it. is huge. Well, let's get the rod. <laughs> um wow. That's pretty big. I'll get him in. That's a 15 pounder. Please. Maybe like more. A no, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna pull him in. You got him in the mouth. He ain't gonna come off this, I don't think. Yeah, he will. He's only got one hook in him, and it's never in him. No, it's it's in his top mouth, pretty there. good. Well, no, I got an idea. You... That's a small mouth buffalo, dude. That's huge. His yes. his mouth's like caught closed. Make sure and grab the line up hot. Yeah. As soon as you get him, I'm gonna undo the bail so you got no tension. All right, bail's open. And then, yeah, walk down there, Sash. That thing's huge. Yeah, that's a big smallmouth buffalo. Cheapers, wow. creeper. <laughs> that's not a battlefish, but that's almost better. That thing yeah. is insane. He got a belly on him. He's fat. God dang, look Whoa. at this. That's, Hi. I mean, that's probably 23 pounds. That's a giant smallmouth buffalo. Do you want to hand me the uh, scale that's in that right there, yeah? It's so big, it doesn't even look like a smallmouth buffalo. 24, 24.5. That's a giant smallmouth buffalo. Go get pictures. That's a big boy. Yep. Go up by the mouth. Yep. There you go. He's a big boy. That's a giant smallmouth buffalo. 24 pounder.
some food we got a bunch of snacks and a giant smallmouth buffalo and the ladies are having some a lot of beverages <laughs> all right we're gonna make a pit stop and get some food and not break a rod ladies all right, Sasha. Howdy. We're not doing too well. Zero fish. Hey, we got one. Well, true. The wrong species. I got it. How big was the one you got? Uh, I want to say it's probably around 60. 60? Nice. That's why I guessed 50 when I was driving by, but. And the red fox. We don't know we're friends yet. How's it going? Good to see you again. You got any barbecue? You do? Perfect, perfect. We're up here for the next four days, so we'll get some the last day, yeah. Oh, that's scary. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. What? Whoa! What was that? <laughs> a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of upside down kick. Paddlefish on three. Let's go, paddlefish. One, two, three, paddlefish. They were actually close, but they opened back up and made a speed. So really nice guy. Spicy barbecue. We'll see it. We'll see it. Pull her up. Red Fox barbecue sauce. You guys are down here on the Osage River. Definitely stop at the Red Fox. It's a pretty good one. All right, so we didn't get a fish. But their boat got a fish. And what are you guessing, Jerry? Oh, that's a that's a good one. 57. I'm gonna say 54. What's it reading? You got BJ weighing Alyssa's fish. Her birthday fish. I cannot see anything. Oh, it's, it's not, not on? even on. <laughs> Turn off. All right. I'm guessing 54. 56.94. 56.94. You were oh, right. No. 57. <laughs> nice. Nice way to start, babe. Day number two out at the beautiful Ozarks. What time you guys stay out till last night? Two in the morning? Wow. Morning number two. Well, day number two out here in the Ozarks for the uh, spoonbill snagging. Honestly, this is our first time up here in about four years that we didn't get some or at least one on the first day. So we got our work cut out for us this year, but um, we're going to go up or down the river, try to locate some, try to find them, see if we can find some pods. And then um, just kind of got to adapt. Sometimes it's like that. You just got to deal with the elements. So we're going to see if we can turn this day around. Well, turn this trip around on day two and see if we can get some big ones. I got a feeling we'll do all right today. Got a nice sunny day. Um, doesn't really matter fishing conditions because like I said, we're snagging them. So hop in, start searching. Day number two. Ready ladies? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Who's getting the first one? I can, yeah. You? Yeah. All right. Scott, we're last, I guess. Yeah. They're cracking. Damn it, Scotty, put that thing away. All right, how deep are we? 38. 38. We're gonna get to snag it. If you hit the bottom, it's not a bad thing. You just don't wanna obviously get snagged. So if it's a clean bottom, you're fine, but if you keep getting snagged, then crank them up a little bit. I'm gonna crank it up just a smidge. Check the drags. That one's a little tight. That one's good. Those drags good. Good? Yeah, this one. Alright, we're uh, snagging. Snagger fish. 
just rip it. It's not worth it, just pop it. Oh, fish, fish, fish. fish, fish. fish. Sasha, up. Right. Yeah, yeah fish. Got it? Oh, yeah, that's fish. Well, that didn't take long. Nope. It's fish. That really didn't take long. We saw him. No, that took maybe. I did. I just sat down. It but took like a, a minute or two. Dude, I told What'd you. What you think, Sasha? He is heavy a little bit. <laughs> At first, I wasn't sure if it was a snag or a fish. The way it came out, I thought it was snag too. As I've also said last year that some of them, were, some of them were kind of heavy, and they weren't. <laughs> well, it kind of depends on how you snag them too. It all just depends. He's staying down. But he's not really taking big runs. No. He felt initially big. Just get this ready just in case. See if he's a big guy. What's the line counter say? Yeah, 100. Oh, God, yeah, he took a lot of line out. Yeah, he did. That one was at 140, 150. Is he pulling now? Yeah. He just yeah. went down a little bit further. I can move he this rod out. over here. That first dude, it was pulling so hard. It's like, I don't know if it's a snag or a fish. Then I felt him doing some kicks. It's like, is he going to go this way? So. Move that. Big or small, what are we looking at? Oh, big. oh he's taking it off now. He's got to be gaffable, I would assume. No, nope, oh, short. Sorry. He just got hooked weird. All right, well, it's a spoonie. Yep, just make sure. Yeah, I'm going to undo the bail now, Scotty. That way it doesn't have any tension for you. Yeah, you got to be very careful with these. You might not be a short, dude. We can measure them. Because yeah. they got to be, if they're 34, you're obligated to keep them. But That's not bad. No, I don't think he's a short, dude. If he's a short, he's barely a short. Scotty, the cracking is real. <laughs> right. me, Let's get that out of the way. Right there. See it? How are you going to get him to the eye? Oh, right there. He's on the eye. 36. He's 36? Keeper. No way. Is he? 36. Yeah. Told you. I Fork thought he was a keeper. Tail. Wow. Okay. That's uh. 36, 30, uh, 35 and a half, 36, depending on because you keep pulling his head closer. He's well over. Oh, it's right at the eye. He's well over. Told you. I thought he was a keeper. 36. Uh, just shy of 36. So. We'll take him. Hey, there you go. First Ooh. fish. Not a very big one, but it'll do. It will do. Not a very big one, but I mean still a cool fish. They don't have a bone in their body. They're all cartilage tiny little eyes Filter feeders and just cool fish in general. You can't catch them because look at this All they have he's got a pretty pattern though. No teeth. No nothing These are filters and they just filter feed throughout these river waters. He's got a long snout. Yeah, he does Especially for how small he is. Good work, Sash. Thank you. You open it up. All right, that didn't take long. All right, get back to doing her and try her again. Woo! All right, going back out. See if we can get a big one. We're searching for a triple digit fish. It'll be uh, very tough to make happen, but we've got close quite a few times. All right, 220 on the dock. We're gonna go 170 on that one for now. All right, all different water column lengths and try her again. Miss Bailey got that bigger one earlier this morning. Did you take a picture with it? No. No? All right, we'll put a picture up now. But that one's quite a bit bigger, probably double size. But they get about double, triple the size of that one even, so. Try her again. We're already doing better than yesterday with uh, getting one, even though we were small. Well, Bailey got one this morning too. Um, they went out super early. And we did, oh, we just rolled one, yeah. We're already doing pretty good, so. Might be a good day. 